Hi everyone, I'm Dietrich. Welcome back to another video for Pisces Pet Emporium. Today we're going to be taking a look at the care of seahorses. Captive bred seahorses can be difficult to find in the pet industry. We do get them in when we can, however we do consider them to be a moderate to advanced care level for pets. In the wild, you'll find them mostly in shallower seas and straits where there's not a huge amount of current. Not being the best swimmers, they need lots of things that they can anchor themselves onto. So all seahorses are part of the Hippocampus genus. There's around 47 different species, but only a few of them you'll actually see in the aquarium hobby trade. Most notably, you might recognize seahorses from their elongated face and curly tails. They have a very distinct profile when you look at them. Uh, accompanied by very short fins, they don't really look like they're strong swimmers because they aren't. But they do rely on their tail to grasp onto different corals and rocks for sturdiness in the waves. One of the unique characteristics of seahorses is that the males actually carry their, the young in a pouch until they hatch. The male can carry up to anywhere from 200 to 400 babies at a time. Things to consider if you're wondering about the care for a seahorse would be, first off is the tank size. You want to have a minimum of about a 40 gallon tank, something that has good depth and decent height to it, um, as well as something that's going to be low flow. Unlike most marine animals, they do like their water cooler, so usually between no higher than about 78 for most species and some can handle it to the lower 60s degrees Fahrenheit. Seahorses are known for their sensitivity to water parameters. You need your ammonia and nitrite to be zero with the low nitrate levels. Their salinity also needs to be very stable as it can lead to potential health problems. Making sure your aquarium has a good supply of live copepods is a great way to ensure the health of your seahorses. Now if you don't have those available, they're all alternatives. Things like brine shrimp and mysis shrimp are great substitutions if you don't have access to the live copepods. Seahorses can sometimes be picky and may not go for frozen foods right away. Using some sort of product that's going to help make the food more enticing is recommended. Even with their difficult care, seahorses are rather short-lived. The average lifespan is about four to five years with proper care. Once again, my name is Dietrich. Thank you so much for joining us today. As always, if you have any questions on seahorses, feel free to drop us a line and we will be happy to help. And comment below to let us know what we should do for future videos. Good for your pet, pet, emporium.